Uh, well, essentially, the city uh, has been created by being a bunch of villages, uh, okay. right? And uh, the old part of the city is a bunch of villages. And therefore, if you go to places like Triplicate, and Mylapore, Raipeta, uh, any, any of these places, they're all sort of, no, they still look like villages, although they have grown on into the city. But what has happened is that the city has now expanded a lot up north, uh, west, and south. And if we are going to manage the city, the big challenge is to keep up with its water services, sewage services, transport, basic health care. We need to sort of you know, really, really keep pace. Otherwise, we'll have serious problems uh, like the floods that happened. Uh, it was a huge crisis. I guess now the government has realized and I think they're doing a little bit things faster and faster. But that's a big challenge for the city. Uh, well, we need the metro, uh, and, and I think it's uh, moving at a faster pace. Uh, I don't think it, it kind of affects too much of the city landscape, right? Uh, but yes, I mean, in certain places, you will, you, we will have to, you know, I mean, uh, accept these developments because we need transport, and I think the metro makes life much easier for, for thousands of people every day. So I don't think it really affects badly, just that the work, of course, is affecting the traffic in the city. Okay. Pulikart is slightly outside the city limits, but Enor is inside the city limits. So, so uh, there are a lot of environmental issues that are being debated. Uh, the fishermen are getting affected. Uh, and I think uh, we, uh, we need to have a balance because once we lose some of Pulikat is a very important uh, uh, freshwater lagoon, a very important water body. So if we lose uh, uh, this, then it's going to affect the city and, its envi uh, and, and the areas around it badly. So I think, yes, we need the jobs, but I think we need to be a very, very cautious about how we sort of deal with it. Well, not directly to the government, but from time to time, uh, we, uh, we, wherever we can, we, we make suggestions and some of them are small little things are accepted. For example, we are now sitting inside Fort St. George, yeah. okay, and, and uh, I've been talking to the Archaeological Survey of India, ASI, which manages all these old heritage structures, and uh, are trying to understand with them uh, the, the difficulties they have in cleaning up the place maintaining the buildings which are not under their control. The army has its control recently they're placed on. So uh, we do wherever possible to the tourism people, to the civic uh, authorities like the Greater Chennai Corporation. We make suggestions. Some of them are picked up. But I guess uh, uh, the good thing is that people now recognize the city is important and anything that we need to do for the city must be considered. Uh, well, I mean, the government sends people to Singapore and I think recently the mayor went to Europe uh, to study uh, how to dispose of solid waste and all that. So I think uh, different, uh, uh, different studies are being made, right? Uh, we'll have to see how we can apply them suitably to the city. But like I said before, the city is expanding. And uh, uh, if you take the case of uh, what has happened in Bangalore, which has not been able to, to, to manage the huge expansion. Our city government has to face these challenges, has to keep working towards it. Otherwise, we could face real problems. Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.